Today we will look into creating a Discord bot using Golang. So before jumping on into the coding process, let's look into what exactly we'll be building. So here I have a Discord server and I have already created a bot. Right now it's offline. So I'm going to run my program that will bring it up. And once that is done, okay, so my bot is up. So currently this bot only um, takes in ping as the input and gives us pong as the output. So exclamation mark is something with, it's, it's, it's a bot command prefix that I'm using. So using that prefix bot understands that it's a command that bot needs to reply back to. So when I do ping, it will return as pong. So, and this is just a simple example, but you can do a whole lot of thing with a Discord bot. So to get started, obviously you should have a Discord server. Here I already have created a Discord server for Discord bots. Now I'm going to go here and create a new application. So I will create a new application. I will name it, let's call it Golang bot and then create. So once that is created, we'll go to OAuth and here in general, oh wait, oh sorry, in bot. Here, here I need to go to the bot and I need to add a bot. So let's do it. Um, I will reset the token because I wasn't able to see the token. Now I'm going to copy this token and I'm going to save this somewhere because this is a token we will be using to interact with the bot. Um, let me go ahead and create a new folder for bot. So I will do mkdir and then let me zoom in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Golang bot. Let's go into the directory. Here I will do go mod init Golang bot. Okay. And then I am going to create a config.json file which will store our uh, token value. So here I will have my token value. So golang bot config.json. So this is a JSON file. So let me create a token value. So my token string will be this. And obviously I will have a bot prefix. And the bot prefix is going to be exclamation mark, right? And that's it. Let me make sure I'm doing it correctly. Okay, this looks good. So now I have created my config.json file. Let's go ahead into the coding part. I will create a new file, touchme.go. Correct. Now here, before jumping onto the coding part, we'll need to do one more thing. So we need to invite our bot to our server, Discord server. So the way we do it here is, um, I go to OAuth URL generator and here I need to select bot and I need to select the permissions I need to give to the bot. So I will select all of these. Once I have done this, I will do a copy here. I'll go to a new browser tab. I'll paste this link. So this is kind of the bot invite link. You can see an external application Golang bot wants to access your Discord server. I'll go ahead and select my server, which is Discord bots. I'll continue. Yes, authorize and so Golang, Golang bot has been added. So if I go back to my server, we can see that a Golang bot has been created. And right now it's offline because it's not running and we will be using the token value um, to start our bot. So I'll go here, go back to my code, go back to main.go and I will start my coding. So we need package.main, we need to import some dependency. Uh, one more thing, um, in order to develop the Golang bot, we need a Discord Go library. So I will do that by go get. Correct. Now I can import this library. I will also need to import some other inbuilt library like encoding JSON FMT and 
io slash io util now i will create some variables token string bot prefix so i will keep track of the prefix which which we already have stored in the config file so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use um, io util to read this file and then store it in my variables that i'm creating for that are common to this file config struct okay and let's create our struct which is config struct token string json token bot prefix string json cool now i have created a struct now i will create a function to read the config so my config will be method will be very simple i'm going to do a file comma error and then i'm going to use io util um, read file and then i'm going to read config dot json file once i have done that if error is not equal to nil which means i got an error so i will just print my error to see what is the error okay and then i will return the error cool after this i will also print if the parsing was successful if the reading was successful so i will do a string on file correct i think i have ex put extra brackets here cool and then here i'm going to um, use JS json unmarshal to store the contents of the file into my um, struct the config struct which i have created here right so if this is this is also an error i'll just copy paste the same thing okay once this is done i will store my token from config dot token and my bot prefix from config dot bot prefix and then i will return nil yeah this method is done now i need a method to start my bot so i will create few more variables which is bot id let me go down here which is my bot id it's going to be a string it will store the id of the bot and every bot has a unique id so we need that in case we need to check that bot shouldn't reply to itself now i will do function start a start method here i will do go bot and I will use the discord library discord go dot new and I will create bot plus config dot token correct so this is how I initialize the bot and then here I will check I will copy paste the same thing that if we got an error message um, just print it now here I am going to get the bot ID um, using go bot dot user at the rate me and I will again print the error message here I will store the bot ID in u dot ID cool after this I will add a handler to it so now until this part our bot has been initialized but our bot doesn't know anything about how it should respond back to the messages so for that we need to add a handler and to add a handler we'll be passing it a method so i am going to create this method but for now i will just pass in the name of the method m e s s a message yes message handler correct and i will try to now open the bot 
which is like running the bot so the go bot is running if i get an error just print it and if i don't get an error i'm just going to print that bot is running cool now here i will add a message handler okay um, which is function message handler and s star discord go dot session m star discord go dot message create so this is the standard signature of a message handler and here i'm just checking if if i go get a message from author id and it's equal to bot id so i don't want to respond back to the bonds uh, bots message so if bot is writing the message just leave it don't look for it but if i get message from anyone else and the content of the message is something like bot prefix plus let's say in our case ping so bot prefix is the exclamation mark right so in that case the score and just send the message so s dot s s is our um, session the discord go session and channel channel message send m dot channel id boom cool so this is how i will send the message now we just need to write our main function because main function is something that gets called so if we get an error in read config you know just print the error message here again else we do a start and we need this main function to run infinitely so there is another one way to do it using channels so i am creating a channel an empty channel which doesn't look for anything and this empty channel will keep our main function running right so here why i'm getting an error is an invalid type okay i will just return back because i'm printing okay cool cool this looks good to me now let's try and run this and see if it runs go run main dot go so token id is here bot is running awesome so we see our golang bot is up so if i do a ping here we should see a pong and we see a pong so it works so that's all for this video if you guys like this video please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up follow me on instagram thanks everyone